Um, my OCD at its worst, I mean, there's, there, when I was first diagnosed, there were times where I wanted to die. That's how bad it was, and I was bleaching my hands, mm. I was trying to sterilise everything, and it's not a case of me waking up in the morning and thinking, oh, I'm so excited I get to clean my house today. It isn't that. I wake up in the morning and I was forced against my will to carry out these rituals in order to keep my children safe. You said it's like a bully. It's like yeah, a bully it's, in your it's, your mi it's your mind telling you that if you don't do that, whereas, you know, someone that doesn't have OCD might get these thoughts of thinking, oh, what would I do if my child ran out in the road? You know, you'd have that initial thought, but someone like myself with OCD, I will overthink that and overthink it, and then it becomes a reality, and that's not just in my mind. It's that's going to happen. And um, what impact does it have on your children? You've mentioned them a few times now. Um, I think for them, I try and almost... Um, hide it slightly from them if I can because obviously where they're at school I want them to have I mean I struggle with school trips and the school's fabulous like they they try and help me because I panic that you know the coach is going to crash and then some, or someone's going to take one of my children and then I'm not going to be able to rescue them and be there it's all of my kind of rituals are based around my kids mm. and the fear of something terrible happening and it's exhausting and what do you think triggered this what what started this can you remember a moment in your life where you became like this yeah um, I think with regards to the cleaning element of it it was when I um, had my first son um, but the actual OCD itself um, when I saw my psychiatrist we've pinpointed it back to when I was about four when my nan died of cancer mm. and and um, with the CBT uh, have you found that it helped are you improving yes I'm, I'm massively improving I'm doing things today that I mean even sitting here it's like every day I do things that do push my boundaries and I walk away feeling really proud of myself and I know it might seem silly to some people but for me it's such a big achievement and it's important for like myself and my family to celebrate those achievements because it's a big thing for me whereas to other people it might be like oh so what you didn't wash your hands today or you touched that bus rail whereas that's a huge thing for me because I do panic.